hello everyone and today i'm gonna show you how to simulate clicks and um, how to detect clicks so in here i have a simple setup which includes windows.h and our stream and conio forget ch at last and uh, we are using namespace sdd for our stream and here i have main function in it we have press f for left click and its hexadecimal value and here press g for right click and its hexadecimal value and a while loop which is always set to true and get ch at last so here are the mouse uh, definitions which are commented so these are in winuser.h which is over here and there are many definitions so we are going to use this and this for this video um, this is for mouse left down you can see it's hexadecimal value and left up right down right up middle down middle up x down x up wheel and many others so uh, let's get started with it now to start with I'm just gonna give it a if statement in which I'm gonna type this method called get async key state means get a synchronized key state which will give you key state from keyboard and mouse so you can detect any creep press without even uh, selecting that window means unfocused console window so here is how you can use that method that returns boolean so it returns true or false so you have to type in get with g caps uh, or sync with a caps and key state with k and s capital and you have to give it a vk key means virtual key number so here you can see vk l button but i'm just gonna use this numbers instead so 0 x 0 1 is for left click and now I can see out something like um, left click pressed now the program will detect whenever the left click is pressed and if you hold the left click for long it will just spam left click pressed cause it's in while loop and whenever you just click the mouse button it will get true and if you hold it it will just loop forever then i can use else if and in here i can just copy and paste the same method but for right click and um, i copied this and pasted this and for right click as you can see here it's a uh, vkr button and 0x02 so i can just cut this one and make it two now this is gonna be the right click detected and i can just copy this thing and paste it over here so i can just change left to right and for this press f for right click and press g for left click so else if get async key state and for f i have written the code here which is 0x46 and you can search the key code on net you just have to type virtual key code and the microsoft website will just pop up in front so now the click simulation part and this is very important method for click simulation you have to type in m o u s e underscore e v e n t and now it will ask for d word dw flags and d word dx g blah, 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 and extra info and all that stuff so this is what a dw flag is so you can write in this definitions or the hexadecimal value uh, i'm just gonna cut this or copy this and paste it in here and give it a first parameter you can also give the hex value over here but um, 
this is easy to remember mouse event f left down and then for dx we have to give it a zero followed by a zero followed by a zero followed by a zero yeah and if you use get ch over here you need to focus that window then only the get ch will work this get a sync key state will work anywhere so the focus doesn't mind but now if i just leave it like this it will hold the left button so if you just copy this and paste it over here and replace the down with up so this will click super fast that no one will even detect the click simulation only the program which we have made over here to detect the click press will only detect it so we need a delay to add a delay we use sleep ep with capital S and uh, 100 is enough so this will stop the execution for 100 milliseconds and that will be ok and lastly we can add else if get a sync key state we can copy this thing copy and paste it over here so now we have here for G I'm just changing 6 to 7 over here so I can detect G and from left I'm turning this left into right so this should now click if I press F and should detect the clicks so let's compile it and run it and as you can see over here F and G so now if I am dragging this thing it will just yeah it will just spam the thing it just spammed so many of click pressed so now I have opened paint.net over here so in here you can see if I left click it will draw a black circle but if I right clicked you can see the uh, clicks some are changing uh, draw a, red pink circle so if I press F now it will fill the thing cause uh, you know I'm clicking also and uh, the shortcut also is there so you can see it's running very slow cause this thing is getting all the RAM but you can see it can click with F and see it can close itself as you can see it just closed itself and I can run it again it can click things very well so that's the thing and hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new so stay creative and consider subscribing